Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you my summer TBR. Summer has just started so it is the perfect time to revamp my little TBR card and I do have quite a few books that I would love to get to. Will I get to all of them? Probably not but this is the amount of TBR books I would have to read in the summer to achieve a zero TBR. So this is just my pile of possibilities basically and let's get into it. First of all, I do have some specific reading goals and that is five series and five new to me authors I wanted to read this year. Because I do have a very big series for this summer time, I did not choose an author. So let's start out with that series. And that is the A Chorus of Dragons series. So we have The Ruin of Kings, The Name of All Things, The Memory of Souls, The House of Always, which is my favorite cover, and The Discord of Gods, all by Jen Lyons. And as you can see, that pretty much fills up half of my TBR already. I do have one more fantasy book on my list and that is Beren and Luthien by Tolkien. So with these fantasy books, um, with the series, I actually have no idea what they're about. They do have something to do with dragons, that's all I know. I know that the writing style is quite unique, but plot-wise, no idea. With Beren and Luthien, we have one of the stories that is originally in the Silmarillion, just uh, as its own story in this book. Next up, I have one thriller that I definitely want to get to, and that is Bare Bones by Katie Rikes. This is the sixth book in the Temperance Brennan series. And in this one, we are following Temperance Brennan as she is solving crimes, usually murders, as a scientist. And this is the series that the TV show Bones was based on. I also have one non-fiction book and that is Lou Andrea Salome by Kerstin Decker. This is about a woman who knew a lot of like very influential men in Germany in I think the 1800s and the way that she led a very unconventional life. Then I have one book that is I think more literary fiction. It is called The Next Step in the Dance by Tim Gautreaux and I have no idea what this one is about. I got it in a, a book box many many years ago and since then it has been sitting on my shelves because it is quite chunky. This one I got as a gift. This is called Wish You Were Here by Jodie Picot and I think this is a pandemic novel, a novel where a woman went to some kind of an island and then gets stuck there because of COVID-19. And another gift, um, I don't know if this book exists in English, it's called Die Weiße Masai um, by Corinne Hoffmann. And I think this is about a woman, a white woman, a German woman, who um, married a Maasai man and lived with him and his family for a while. Now, this is not a book I would have chosen myself because I think it could be very, very problematic. But as I have gotten it as a gift, I will probably still check it out. Last but not least, I have two German classics. One is Ein Beites Feld by Günther Grass. No idea what this one is about, but I think this is a writer uh, after the Second World War. This is set uh, during the, uh, what do you call that? The reunification of Germany? I don't know. Um, yeah, I got this from my grandma. I'll try to read it at some point, but it's also so chunky. And another book I got from my grandma is 
Links, wo mein Herz ist, bei Leonard Frank. This was a very left-wing author during the Second World War and therefore it didn't really get a lot of fame. I have read one book by this author before and I thought it was okay, even if it was quite a bit sexist. So we'll see how this one is. So this completes my summer TBR. Now from the way my reading has been going so far this year, I'm really not that optimistic. Like this five book series alone is so daunting to be honest, but I have, I have chosen my fate. I have acquired all of these books, so it is time. To read them. If you have read any of these let me know, I would love to hear what you thought of them, spoiler free, and if you want me to read any of these ASAP, definitely also let me know, I'll try my best. But yeah, my priority is definitely the Chorus of Dragons series and then we'll see what else I will achieve. I hope you had fun watching this, leave a like and I'll talk to you soon, bye!